So yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, let me be the first to admit that I am not the most exercise savvy person. I mean, obviously, that's why I'm doing this, right? As I said in my week one video, a lot of what I've done in the past in order to try to lose some weight has consisted of a lot of walking, things like that. Again, I have asthma, so it's difficult for me to do a lot of cardio. Fortunately, one of the great resources that we have now that we didn't have even, I don't know, what was it, seven years ago, when I was trying to lose weight before, um, is YouTube. Again, you've heard me say before, and I'll say it again, I love YouTube. Except for when they demonetize LGBT content, that's not cool. But there are tons and tons and tons of channels out there and videos that have good exercise routines, quick five minute routines for people that are busy and on the go, full workout routines for people who are real fitness buffs. So there is a plethora of stuff for me to try to look up. And to be perfectly honest, it's a little overwhelming sometimes to try to figure out exactly which exercises I should try in order to lose the weight that I need to get off. To be perfectly honest, a fair amount of cardio is going to be necessary in order for me to get off the amount of weight that I need to lose. So far, as far as that goes, I've really just been doing a lot of walking again. However, I am on the look for something that's going to be a little more intensive, but at the same time, not really trigger my asthma. And one of the issues when you haven't been exercising in a while is getting back into the habit, the routine, and also kind of the shape to exercise. Truth be told, a couple weeks ago, there were a lot of days when I just didn't feel like continuing because, well, my muscles hurt. I hadn't really exercised in a while and my body isn't used to what I was doing. And part of the reason that I'm doing this series is to keep myself accountable. And honestly, right now, it's been a little difficult to actually exercise every day. I've been trying to eat better even though last week it made me sick. But that's really only going to get me so far. So there's a couple areas that I really need to target. The biggest one is my midsection. Unfortunately for me, it has always been very easy for me to put on weight there, and not so easy for me to get it off. So I've been trying to find exercises that really work my abs, um, and in addition to um, my stomach area, um, my butt and my thighs as well, eh, are really the most out of shape. I actually found a pretty good six minute standing ab workout on Bowflex's YouTube page. And on the one hand, it does a great job of working all those areas, but while you're exercising, it doesn't seem so intense that you want to stop. This is a great way to stand and work your abs. They're going to do that for about 30 more seconds, and after that, we're going to go into some front. And the thing that I really like about this is that the instructor in the video actually is very encouraging. Some videos that you find online are very clearly more geared towards more intensive fitness junkies. So when you're just starting out, it can be a little bit difficult to get into those when you are not sure exactly what you're doing and you have an instructor who seems encouraging, but really just jumps into the exercises and doesn't necessarily explain how you should go about doing it. But so far, I've found that that video does a pretty good job of working out my abs, 
my thighs, my glutes, glutes. So that's one exercise regimen that I'm definitely keeping in my routine. Another area that I definitely need to work on are my arms. It's really disappointing when you get to your mid-30s and realize that you suddenly have bingo arms. It's not attractive. But, again, that's another area that I've got a lot of excess fat. And I found a routine on X Hit Daily that works well for me. Um, it's a little more intense for a beginner. Uh, straighten your mat if you need to. I'm going to come down, we're going to do 15 reverse flies, okay? So all the way down, chest out, and bringing those weights out. Get nice and low if you can. Hold that chest up, and just bring it up out to the side. Now, you've got to be careful that we don't use the momentum of our arms to bring ourselves up. But it's definitely a routine that, if I stick to it, I think will be very effective. Again, if you've been following my daily updates on Instagram, you've probably seen me bemoaning how terrible my arms felt. But it's definitely a workout that I feel very accomplished about once I've done it. One of my big gripes though with a lot of exercise videos is that they're very segmented. So if you really have no idea what you're doing whatsoever and nobody tells you to warm up or cool down, um, it can actually be pretty easy to hurt yourself. But again, I found that Bowflex has a pretty good full body stretch routine that I can use as both a warm up, a cool down, or just a nice stretching routine if I'm feeling tense at another time. Rest free. Five, four. So that's just a little insight into what I've been trying out so far. Right now it feels a little bit fragmented and I think over the next week I'm really gonna hunker down and try to get a full on workout routine that I can follow week by week. So what kind of exercise routines have worked for you? Let me know down in the comments. Also, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And um, actually, before you go, Let me show you a little preview of something I've been working on. When we were kids, we met at camp. After college, we got married. Ten years later, we finally had a baby. That same year, I came out as trans. This is the story of our journey. Through marriage. Parenting gender, and all the changes that life brings. This is Our, Our Life, Life in, in Transition. Transition. Our Life in Transition is a brand new podcast coming soon to Apple, Google, Spotify, Stitcher, and wherever you listen to your favorite shows. So yeah, that's a thing. Rachel and I are really excited about it. And I'll make sure that I put info down in the description as well so you can keep up with what we're doing over there. So when you're done watching this lovely video, head over to the Our Life in Transition YouTube page and make sure that you subscribe there too. But yeah, so I guess that's all I've got going on right now. Um, I'll see you around.